What's up, guys? This is Joshua Sanders from Unbothered. It's like, nah. This is Joshua, and you already know this is Showtime's Fight Forum, and I'm your host, Showtime. Um, the previous joke I just said was actually from a web series that I'm a part of called Unbothered. And if you love comedy and you love some, actually, what is it called? Um, dramedy? Then please follow Unbothered series on Instagram. Um, should be dropping in August. It's going to be amazing. I am in it, obviously, for me to throw that shameless plug. Um, but once again, make sure you check it out. Um, but you already know, we talk all things fights here. And this weekend was a doozy. Uh, this weekend was a lot of MMA. We had PFL, and then we also had Bellator, and then we had the UFC. Um, and then we had boxing, too. So, you know, we're going to we're gonna split this up. We're going to talk boxing. Um, the first episode, then the next episode this week, we're going to talk boxing. Uh, with with uh, MMA, man, oh, my jeez, man. Just too much to talk about. But let's start with the first event of the week, which was PFL, which was headlined by Kayla Harrison. Um, and, you know, which also had fights with Showtime Pettis and also had um, Lance Palmer trying to, you know, redeem himself after losing to Bubba. And then also, I forgot to mention the big news with PFL as well, which was Clarissa Shields is fighting again. She already got a fight booked uh, in August, I believe. And uh, her opponent is TBD right now. And I find it interesting that she's like getting right back into it. Uh, I, I'm I'm honestly starting to think that she's getting paid a lot more at PFL than she is boxing. Uh, and if, if that is the case, if I'm if I'm Clarissa, bro, at the end of the day, you're already 11 and 0. You already defended your belt what eight times, nine times, or whatever. Just go to MMA, man. Like you're gonna make so much more money because in reality. The population cares more about women's MMA than they do about than they care about women's boxing. That's just a fact. Um, and you look at the superstars like the Ronda Rouseys, the Amanda Nunes, which who are making bank, who are making bank, bank. And Kayla Harrison's probably making bank as well, bro. Like, just do it. Just commit. Like, just do it, man. We don't want you. I mean, I, I'm I'm cool with seeing you box every once in a while, but I want to see you in an MMA cage. I want to see you get better. I want to see your takedown defense get better. I want to see your pacing get better. I want to see you sleep these giants. All right? So that's that's like my goal. I want to see it. So, I mean, but it's good that she's going back into it. I, I know I said previously that she should probably take a year off, but I'm okay with the fact that she's fighting in August just for the simple fact that that means she's right back in it. Which means she's still working on her ground game. She's still working on her takedown defense. Rather than, you know, if she who knows this, who's to say if she fights next year that she's honestly still working on MMA for that year. She's not still tuning her boxing skills up. So I mean, um, I, to me, if she's obviously going back into it, that means she's still working on her wrestling to this day, which is very important. Um, and hopefully she picks up. I told you her sprawl was great. I thought it was sprawl was fantastic. Um, she just has to obviously still work on getting off her back. Finding the cage, wall walking, all that good stuff. And also stop being overly aggressive to get taken down again. Because all these girls are going to want to take you down. Nobody's going to want to stand with you. Your hands are too violent. Um, but let's go to the actual fights. So let's start with the first fight that I want to talk about, which is going to be Lance Palmer fighting uh, Movalid. That fight went pretty much how I expected. Um, I'm telling you, man, these Russians are here to stay, man. These Russians are tough. They're, and, and they're so balanced, man. Like, you would think all these guys are just straight wrestlers. They're not just wrestlers. These guys have really good stand-up. I mean, that's that's scary. It's, it, it reminds me of when, like, uh, Brazil was running through um, um, UFC. And you just had so many champions. You had the Jose's. You had the Leota Machidas. You had Anderson Silva. And it's like, all right, bro, these Brazilians are, are terrifying right now. That's how the Russian game is right now. The Russians are taking over every organization. It seems like. Um, and this guy, he's 17, 0, and 1. Uh, like I said, stand-up is good. His takedown, def- I mean, his takedowns are fabulous. I really want to see him fight Bubba because we already know Bubba Jenkins is one of the greatest wrestlers in the world. That's just that's just a fact. He is one of the greatest wrestlers in the world. And then we have we know Russia is one of the best, if not the best, <laughs> area to wrestle. It's the toughest. Like you got them, Iraq, America, like the Middle Eastern countries, like they're, they're that, that, that's the crop of the crop, right? Top of the crop right there when it comes to you got Cuba sometimes, depending on the team. Like they're they're just great at wrestling. So I mean, it's amazing. That's an amazing matchup. Now, granted, in the stand up department, Bubba's gonna struggle, I think, if he does fight Mobile next. I don't really necessarily remember if that's Bubba's next fight or he's fighting fighting the, um, someone else. But I have to check that. But I can't wait if that fight does happen. That fight's gonna be amazing. 
Um, but like I said, most of the people, I don't gonna say he dominated, but he was the clear cut winner. Uh, Lance Palmer, he's on a two fight losing streak. This man, I believe he was on like an eight, nine fight win streak before this, um, before he fought Bubba. He seemed like he's going on a down, downward hill, but in reality, the truth is he's just fighting better wrestlers. That's what it boils down to. When Lance Palmer can't dictate with his wrestling, he's honestly an above average fighter at best. So, um, you know, that's what happens. You got to work on your game, man. Um, but Lance, uh, we, we're going to see if you rebound. I don't know if he's out of the playoffs. They do a weird playoff format with the PFL. I don't know how that works. I don't really remember how exactly it works. I just know Bubba's automatically in it, and I know Mobile is already in it. Um, but Lance was the champ. He's the PFL champ. So it's crazy that he's now 0-2. Uh, but that just shows the game is getting better. Now, the next fighter I want to talk about, but it ain't going to be for too long, is going to be Showtime Pettis. Um, retire. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to someone else. Uh, yeah. Kayla Harrison. Kayla Harrison dominated. She broke the girl's arm. Um, it's it's frustrating in a way when it comes to Kayla because Kayla's starting to now get a little bit too cocky, in my opinion, with the things that she's saying. It's like, bro, you're not really fighting anybody. Like, it's not, you're not. I mean, granted, she could be everything she's built up to be, but as of right now, she's starting to sound a lot like Ronda. And it's one of those, wait till you fight top competition first. Or you know what? I don't even go. I don't even mad about the confidence. It's just more so like I guess her fans. It's more so like saying like, "Oh man, this girl's like gonna kill everybody." And it's like maybe at one fifty five because one fifty five isn't really you know that tough. But if she drops down to one forty five, we don't know what's gonna happen. And the crazy thing is, Dana White has already stated that he's tried to sign her. She wasn't interested. And I genuinely do believe that. I don't think Dana would lie about that. Dana does want the best fighters in his organization. Why would he not want Kayla Harrison? She could be a star. So I believe he had made an offer. Maybe it was a low ball offer. Maybe PFL's paying her more. That's very possible. Or it's the fact that she knows she's not ready for that work at 145 and Amanda's going to be there with a fist and you don't want that work. Um, but Kayla looked phenomenal. She's going to continue to look phenomenal. She's going to run through this competition. I ain't going to say she's going to run through because she did have somewhat of a tough fight uh, with homegirl. She's already fought twice and she might have to fight her again in the finals. But um, she's going to, until she fights her, it's going to be honestly easy sailing for Kayla Harrison. Um, now, uh, the UFC fight that I want to talk about is Gan. All right. The heavyweight champion. It, is he the best in the world right now? Is he the best heavyweight in the world? Because in my opinion, you can very well make that ca case. Obviously, Francis Ngannou is a freaking destroyer. We already know if he touches you, you're going to sleep. And to fight him for 25 full minutes without getting touched by that daggone nuclear bomb is very, very tough, especially since now he seems to be so much better. But I'm telling you, man, Gan is just, he's just elite. Like, he is. Great takedown defense. Good takedowns. Stand-up, we already know, is top-notch. I think the only thing that stops me from saying he's better than um, Francis or he can beat Francis is that I haven't seen that killer instinct yet. I haven't seen that knockout power yet. And we know, I know he has it. But he's very defensive. Um, and he has great defense. That's when I say defensive. Um, his last fight, he actually reversed Volkov, um, Volkov. He was very aggressive. He just didn't seal the knockout, obviously. But kicks were strong. Punches were strong. I mean, I loved his aggression. Uh, he, I mean, he didn't really get the takedowns like that. But I love the fact that he threatened the takedown because that's still, that gets into your brain. If somebody tries to shoot, you're like, oh, he might actually try to wrestle me again. That messes up your whole entire stand-up game. We've seen that with Connor versus Habib. So, I mean, it's, he's impressive. People act like they're he's he's boring this that and the third. They just don't like technical striking. And this man is very technical, and he is he's elite. He's elite, in my opinion. If he's not the best heavyweight in the world, he's definitely the second best. I I do hope he fights Stipe, because I think that's where everybody's gonna realize how great and how dominant he really can be. Um, and I do think he can beat Stipe, and I hope that's the next fight. But um, if not, then he needs to get title shot, man. Like I mean, he's six and zero in the UFC. I mean, he's literally dominated every fight he's been in. So I'm excited for him. I cannot wait to see him fight again. I find him interesting. I find him entertaining. I love to watch technical striking. I don't need people just to knock somebody out in 10 seconds. That's also fun. But, I mean, who knows? Um, obviously, we're going to see Derek Lewis and Francis fight eventually, whenever that's supposed to be booked. I don't know what's holding that up. But after that fight, um, maybe we should then see maybe um, Gan fight. I'm interested. They both train together in France. They know each other slightly. I'm down. Um, but yeah, so, you know, that's basically how I feel about this past weekend as far as MMA goes. Some great fights. I do think what's next for everybody. I told you before, Pettis, retire. 
Uh, Kayla Harrison, honestly, just keep doing what you do, baby. You good. You killing it. Um, Mo- Mo- I want I want Bubba. That's what I want. I know they have a tournament format. Don't know who they're fighting, but that's who I want. And again, I honestly think he deserves a title shot. And if he doesn't have a title shot, at worst, he needs to fight Stipe. That's the only person he needs to be fighting. He don't need to fight anybody else but Stipe or Francis. And I guess Derek Lewis if he wins. I don't think he's going to win. Um, but outside of that, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you follow. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that Gucci stuff. Thank you guys. I'm Showtime. The Showtime's Fight Forum. Be blessed.